Okay, in this video we're going to look at decimals and we'll start with some rounding and then we'll do some operations uh, later on, adding, subtracting, uh, dividing and so on, uh, some real life examples, uh, area perimeter and then some real life examples. Okay, now uh, on the left of the video you should be able to see an index where you can skip to whatever particular example you want to work on and um, I just like to remind you again that this is just a brush up which means we're going to just run over it quickly I'm not going to go into great detail on anything if you want to go into detail and have a, a, a real um, a good lesson on on these things then there uh, uh, we, we, we do have videos provided and other resources online so this is just a quick brush up for decimals so if just the first thing I want you to look at is this diagram here and the, if you just turn your page a bit can you see how we have the place values um, written out here so um, I hope we're all familiar with ones and then we've got tens hundreds thousands right then ten thousands, hundred thousands, and after that, millions, right? Now, the part th that we might need a bit of a brush up on are the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths, okay? So, um, the tenths are just one space to the right, one place to the right of the decimal point, okay? The hundreds are two places, the thousands are three places to the right, and the ten thousands are four places to the right. So the tenths as a decimal would be, you know, 0 0.1, that's one tenth. One hundredth would be 0 0.01, 1000, 0 0.001. See how it's one thousandth is three uh, spaces to the right of the decimal point, and ten thousandths are four spaces, one, two, three, four spaces to the right of the decimal point, okay? And of course, as fractions, your tenth would be 1 over 10, your hundredth would be 1 over 100, we're familiar with that, right? 1 thousandth would be 1 over 1,000, and 1 ten thousand as a fraction, 1 over 10,000, right? Anyway, if we just look at this first number, okay, we have 1 million, no hundred thousands, no ten thousands, four thousands, three hundreds, zero tens, seven ones, and six tenths. So that would be and we'll see if you can say, can you say what this number is? I'll say it with you, it's 1,4300, seven and six tenths, or we sometimes say 0.6, right? So 1,4300, seven and six tenths. Now can you say what this number below is? Did you try it? So this is, this here we have six tens and zero ones, so that's 60, right, 60. Then we have five tenths, four hundredths, and three thousandths, okay? So you could say obviously 60.543, or you could say 60 and 543 thousandths, because this is in fact 60 and five, 143 thousandths okay so it's it's two things it's you know three thousandths four hundredths and five tenths but it's also can be looked at as 543 thousandths okay anyway so now we'll go to question one do some rounding and okay so now we're going to do some rounding and this is question one, we'll do uh, part A, B, and C. And what we're going to do is, uh, I'm, we're going to do A and B together, right? And then when that's done, I want you to do part C all by yourself and see if you can get it all right, okay? And then, of course, I'll do part C and so you can check. So, uh, we'll do A and B round to the nearest whole number. We'll do these two boxes first, okay? So this number is 100.9246456, right? And we're going to round it to the nearest whole number, right? So the first step 
is to find the whole number uh, place in this in this number, right? So the whole number place is like the ones, right? And that is just to the left of the decimal point, right? And that is this zero here, right? The second zero. Um, I guess I should use it. So, so what we've got to do is round as far as there. Now what, what comes after that, what comes after that is a decimal point and then the digit nine, okay? So all we have to do is look at this, 100.9, 100.9, that's all, just look at that. Now, now our digit after the whole number is, so we're looking at 100.9, our digit after the whole number is a 9. Now if that digit is 5 or more, we round up, if it's less than 5, we round down. So what we need to remember is if the digit is five or more, round up, okay? Uh, otherwise you round down. So four or less, round down, right? All right. So here we've got a hundred point, and we're just looking at the nine, so we've got to round up, and so this zero uh, increases to one. So rounding this, the whole number, 101, right? Now how about this one, the 0 0.88843, can you round that to the nearest whole number? Okay, so the first thing you got to do is figure out where, where are the whole numbers in this. Well, the whole numbers are right here at, at the, the zero, okay? Right? And the digit that comes after that is an 8. So we've got 0 0.8, right? Now, that is that 5 or more, or is it 4 or less? Which is it? That digit is 5 or more. So do we round up, or do we round down? We round up, right? So if we round up, then the whole number part becomes 1, OK? So rounding this, the nearest whole number, we just get 1, OK? So now we're going to round both of these to the nearest tenth. So the first thing we do is we locate the tenths in this number. Okay, so this is 100.9256. If we locate the tenths, okay, it's at that digit 9, isn't it? Oops. Sorry. Blah. Right here at the digit nine. Okay, now what comes after the nine? What comes after the nine is a two. Don't forget about the five six past there. That doesn't matter to us at the moment. We're just looking at after the nine. After nine, we have a two, right? And that's all we're looking at. So if there's a two to the right of our tenths. Do we round up or down? If it's a 2, do we round up or do we round down? We round down, right? Because if the number is 4 or less, we round down. So we've got to round down. And the trick to remember is that 9 stays as a 9. It doesn't go to 8. Some people do that. It's 100.9 100 is the answer, okay? Because this 100.9 is less than the original number. See, the original number is 100.9256. The number you round to, okay, is 100.9000. So we did, in fact, round down. We rounded down, and that's because this number, or the black, the, the one we rounded to, okay, the one we rounded to is less than the original number. It's less than it. Um, so we, we don't go as far as 100 point, there's a common mistake, we don't go as far as 100.8, okay? That would be jumping down a, a, an extra tenth again, and we don't want to do that, okay? So rounding down just means basically cut off uh, all the digits to the right and leave it at 100.9, okay? So now can you round this number to the nearest tenth? 0 0.8843, round that to the nearest tenth? Okay, so 
we're looking for tenths. We've got tens, ones, and then tenths are the digits to one space to the right of the decimal point. So our first tenth here is the first eight, okay? And what comes after that eight is another eight, right? So we're just looking at 0 0.88, that's all, 0 0.88, okay? So the digit that comes after the tenth is an eight. We forget about the four or three, we don't care about the four or three. We're just looking at 0 0.88, okay? The digit that comes after the um, tenth is, a, is an eight, and so that does that mean we round up or down? Round up or down, which? We round up. If the digit is five or more, you round up. So this becomes simply 0 0.9, okay? So our original was 0 0.8843. We were looking at the tenth spot, it has an eight in it. The next digit was an 8, so we rounded up to get 0 0.9, okay? Or 0 0.9 thousand, you can think of it that way too, right? So, now we'll round them both to the nearest hundredth, okay? And I think I'm going to write, write it out this time, 100.9256. We want to round it to the nearest hundredth. So, we're first going to locate the hundredth spot on this number. The hundredth spot is a two, okay? And after that comes a five. So this five is the only digit we're concerned about. Okay, forget about everything else, okay? So after the two comes a five. Does If we have a five, do we round up or down? Which? we round up, right? If we round up, that means that 2 becomes a 3, basically. And that's all, and, and this, we forget about the, 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 we don't worry about any other digits after that, because we're going to the nearest hundredth. And so everything else stays the same, and that's our answer. So after the 2, there was a 5, we round up, the 2 becomes a 3, and the answer is 100.93. Okay? So can we do this one now, 0 0.8843 to the nearest hundredth, 8843. So we pick out the hundredth spot in this number. So we got ones, tenths, hundredths. Okay, so we want to get the number rounded as far as there. We want to stop the number there, okay? So we want a digit here and a digit here, okay? Now after that eight, after that hundredth space, we have a four, okay? So do we round up or down? If the next digit is a four, do we round up or do we round down? We round down, right? So we get 0 0.88. And just remember again that that is the same thing as 0 0.8800. So we started off with 0 0.8843 and we end up with 0 0.8800. Now this is definitely less than this, so we did round down. We rounded down, didn't we? But, I mean, this digit doesn't become a 7. I mean, the, the common error is to say that that's 0 0.87. Okay, that's not true. When you're rounding, you don't go that far. Just round down to 0 0.8800. 8800 and that's good enough. Or in other words, 0 0.88, same thing, right? Okay, so now we'll round both numbers to the nearest thousandth. So, if I take the 100.9256 and round it to the nearest thousandth, I want to get it as far as this digit here. So my, we've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? So we want to stop the number there, okay, at the thousandths part. Now, what comes after the five? A six? Does that mean we need to round up or down? We need to round up right to get 100.92 and the 5 if it's rounded up the 5 becomes a 6 right 
And that's the answer. And we stop the number there. Okay. 100.926. Or 100 and 926 thousand, right? So can you do the other one? Round 0 0.8843 to the nearest thousand. Okay. So again, you've got tenths, hundredths, thousands. You want to go as far as the four, as far as there, and then stop the number. The only question is, do you need to round up or down? Right. Well, the next digit is a three. So do we round up or down? We round down, right? To get 0 0.884. Okay, so the three just goes away, basically. Or you could think of 88440. And you could think, say, well, 40 is less than 43, so I've rounded down. But I mean, this digit here again is still a 4, right? So 0 0.884 is the answer, isn't it? Okay. So um, the next thing we're going to do is write each of the numbers in words. Well, even better. A little quicker, let's just say them, okay? So what's this number here? 101, right? What's this number? 1. Th what's this number? 100.9. It can also be uh, written as 100 and 9 tenths, okay? So tell me what this number is, 0 0.9. That's just 9 tenths, right? Um, this number, 100.93, can also be written as 193 hundredths, okay? 193 hundredths. Now, how would you say this number? 0 0.88, that can also be written as 88 hundredths, right? 88 hundredths. This number, 100.926, can also be said or written as 100 and 926 thousandths because it, there's three digits after the decimal point. Okay, This number 0 0.884, how would you say that one? We well, can just say that that is 884 thousandths, right? No, uh, no um, uh, whole numbers at all, just 884 thousandths. So what I'd like you to do now is press pause on the video and the pause button is on the bottom left of the screen. Press pause on the video and do part C all by yourself. Write out the numbers round, the, round this to the nearest whole number, to the nearest tenth, to the nearest hundredth and the nearest thousandth and then write or say each of your answers. Okay. So please press pause in the video and do part C and then I'll do it so you can check. Okay, I hope you press pause. I'm going to do it now and I'd like you to check your answers. So rounding this to the nearest whole number, first of all, I'll just go over it really quick. So we got 87.7634. If I want to round that to the nearest whole number, I want the number to stop here. Okay? Now after it's because this is the whole number spot here. Now after that 7 comes another 7, so I need to round up and that becomes 88. Okay, so the first answer is 88. Rounding to the nearest tenth. I need to stop the number here after the tenth spot, okay? And so that the te tenth spot right now we have a seven, but after the seven comes a six, which means I need to round up, right? And so this seven here becomes an eight. So the answer is 87.8, okay? So rounding to the nearest hundredth, I'll just write the number out again, 87.7634. The hundredth spot, in the hundredth spot we have, we have tenths and then hundredths. In the hundredth spot we have the six. And after the six, so we need the number to stop there, right? But after the six comes a three. So we need to round down, right? So if we round down, then this stays at six. 
and the, the number is the same. So 87.76, okay? And again, I rounded down, and so that's my answer, 87.76. And then round to the nearest thousandth. I'll write the number out again, 87.7634. In we've got tenths, hundredths, thousands. In the thousandth place, there's a three. After the three, we have a four, so we need to round down again, right? And that means that uh, that instead of basically 34 here, we, we end up with 30. So that, that's going down, that's going down. So in other words, we just, we keep the 3 and, and the 4 just goes away. So we have 87.763, okay, 87.763. Now, were you able to write or say each of these numbers? If you haven't done that, try it now. See if you can say what each of them are. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to do it now. This number is 88. This is 87.8 or 87 and 8 tenths. This is 87.76 or 87 and 76 hundredths. This is 87.763 or 87 and 763 thousandths, right?